The Civico Museo del Risorgimento is situated on the first floor of the building in Via 24 Maggio, where the Casa del Combatente occupies the second to fifth floors. The edifice was designed by architect Umberto Nordio and solemnly inaugurated on the 29th of April, 1934. The structure was erected on the site where the Austrian army barracks used to be where on the 20th of December, 1882, Guglielmo Oberdan was executed for high treason, having attempted to assassinate Emperor Franz Joseph. In the shrine, which acts as an annex to the museum and was erected at the same time, the Triestine martyr and his sacrifice are remembered in the statues by Attilio Selva, the original cell where Oberdan was kept prisoner while awaiting execution can also be seen. The Museo del Risorgimento preserves documents, photographs, uniforms, mementos, and paintings about events and characters of the Risorgimento, both on a local level and further afield, starting with the 1848 upheavals until the end of the First World War, when Trieste became Italian again. Of special interest is the figure of patriot and man of letters, Filippo Zamboni, whose relics, donated to the museum in a will, and mainly relating to the Battaglione Universitario Romano, have constituted the core around which, over the years, the museum has accrued its collection. The majority of the exhibits and of the stored material is the result of private donations, such as the cabinets dedicated to local intellectuals Scipio Slataper, brothers Gianni and Carlo Stuperich, and Nazario Sauro. Dominating the large central hall are the frescoes by Carlos Spiza, dedicated to the Julian and Dalmatian volunteers who fought in the First World War. The redeemed cities of Trieste, Aquileia, Gorizia, Rejeca, Zadar, Pula, and Porac are allegorically represented as female portraits from the waist up. The only one bearing a black veil on her head is split still unredeemed, while the only full figure is the one representing Mother Italy. In the final room, dedicated to the redemption, that is, the liberation of Trieste from the foreign oppressor, a red wall representing passion, pride, and light houses the imposing painting, Trieste, 30th October, 1918, by Carlo Wostri. Inside San Giusto's bell tower, Naked young heroes ring the bells, following the frenzied movement of the women, who in a daring, symbolic guise, embody the vibrant notes heralding celebration and victory.